Hi guys, Abs here. Welcome to a demonstration of the Social Hub Builder. This is an application that I've designed that signs up to over 90 social media websites and also links them to your hub. I'm going to show you exactly how this works. Now we have a number of scripts towards the left hand side. We have sign up scripts, we have linker scripts and we also have general settings as well. As you can see, when I, when I actually clicked on these, a new tab appeared toward the top. It's just as simple to actually rotate between and flip through the scripts by actually clicking on these tabs as well. It's just as easy to actually close out of them as well. So I'm going to show you exactly how this actually works. So I'm on the sign up tab at the moment. I'm going to go over to websites. These are the websites that he actually signs up to. As you can see, it's got loads of websites. It's got about, I think, 91 in total. And with this application, in any one run, you can expect between a 70 to 80% success rate, really depending on the response we get back from these websites. Now, don't forget the websites that we're working with are sites such as WordPress. Um, I mean, if you have a look at the ones down here, we've got Squiddy, we've got Delicious, we've got Dig, we've got Digo, we've got StumbleUpon, we've got Twitter. So there's very high authority social media websites. In fact, there's many more websites than the actual hub support. So um, it's a still it's still a very good idea to actually go away and benefit from these websites as well. Make use of areas such as Tube Mogul. Uh, make areas uh, you know make use of other websites as well, such as Squiddy as well which the hubs don't actually post to. You have two email accounts that it'll work with as well, AOL and GMX. Now email creation is gonna be the buggiest area of them all because of the way the email accounts actually work when tracking your IPs and number of accounts that you've actually been creating as well. And I'm gonna be trying to show you a demonstration of this as well. Uh, either way, depending on how long the video takes, um, you're going to get full tutorials and demonstrations in the back end. Now, after you've actually created the account, well, when you check the account that you want to create, you, you have a profile area that you work with. In the profile section, it asks you to enter usernames, passwords, um, and obviously your email address. You can auto-generate your personal details, so the software will do that for you. Alternatively, you can enter the details in there yourself. We do recommend you let the software do it for you uh, because some sites are picky to the way that you enter your websites or your date of births as well, and the software is actually nailed that down. Down to the T. Now um, you can actually load multiple profiles, have the software minimized in the background. So I can actually do that as you can see it's running in the background there. I can show it again. And the good idea about this is to actually load three or four profiles and let the software automatically do it for you. Now you will need to work with proxies if you're going to be if you're going to be uh, working with a number of websites. Sorry, if you're going to do loads of signups. Now we personally recommend, and the way I've built and designed this tool is to make it available to you guys to actually create about one set of accounts on these sites per day. Now you won't even need to do that. It really depends on how many websites you have. But if you're doing one set of accounts each day, 30 days a week, uh, so, sorry, 30 days um, in a month, then that's over 30 hubs um, that you can actually benefit from as well in one month. Now, the price of this is kept very low and it actually works with, it's multi-threaded. It works with up to 15 threads. If you're doing 15 threads at once, just keep in mind that it is making 15 simultaneous requests. Um, so you will get a better success rate when the threads are lower. Now, saying that 15 threads has worked fantastic for me as well. I've seen a 75% success rate signed up to all the accounts within about five minutes. And I'm hoping to show you that in, in action in a moment as well. Okay, so you can have up to five threads. You can tell it to enable capture services. We work with death by capture and decapture. So you will need an account. If not, then you can do manual capture um, entries yourself. You can actually select your profiles here. These profiles will show up. So if I go over to account details, let's say I add a couple of profiles in there. If I go over here now, I can actually tell the software which ones to actually go through by selecting them all or selecting one at a time. We also have email verification. Email verification works with up to 100 threads. Um, and it's very simple. POP3, it works with AOL, GMX. Well, it works with any POP3 server, really, because it also supports um, SSL. And you can enter your own details in there as well, um, as well as benefiting from the pre-populated ones that we already have in here. Okay, so after you've done the account sign up and everything, you'll be going over to your hub linker. The hub linker works with Pixelpipe, HelloText, PingFM, If This Then That, and BookmarkLovers.com. Pixelpipe is a hit and miss because of the way the website is actually working at the moment, Pixel Pipe itself, um, but Hello Text Ping FM, if this then that is working a treat. And obviously if you have a Bookmark Lovers account, just enter your group in here with your details and the system will automatically link that for you as well. Um, it works and links with the reports that the sign up script generates, so it's fantastic. You just import your report in here 
um, and you can obviously choose the sites you want to link to your hubs here as well. So Hello Text has all these in there. Um, if this, then that, Ping FM, Pixel Pipe, and Bookmark Lovers, and you can either select them all, you can, or you can manually select them and multiple ones as well. Okay, so if we go over to the settings section, we have a proxy section down here. Um, it supports free and private proxies as well. Um, I'll give you a quick example of how this actually works. It will test your proxies for you as well. Very important to test proxies and get high anonymous elite proxies. As you can see, um, it's multi-threaded here as well. We've got a status there telling us exactly what's happening and how long it's taking. I think that was 100 proxies in total that I've actually um, loaded in here. And as you can see, that's already been done. Now, um, in, in the settings section as well, um, we have capture settings. So you'll enter your de-capture or your death by capture details in there. Um, and that's exactly how this works. Very simple, very straightforward. It is really, I mean, if you're gonna be creating loads of these accounts, then you are gonna to need to work with proxies, private proxies, paid for proxies, and even private and paid for proxies sometimes don't do it for these sites. Um, so with all honesty, I would suggest that you buy this, keeping in mind that um, you're gonna do about one sign up per day, um, which will then allow you to work and hopefully work with the majority of these sites without proxies um, and if you do that you should be fine you're getting about 30 hubs per month saves you so much more money and so much more time as well okay what I'm gonna do I'm gonna create a profile now I'm gonna add random characters random characters adds two characters towards the beginning two characters two characters towards the end of the username so every time we actually go through the websites we're getting a unique username to actually work with I'm gonna add a password as well and I'm gonna add a password hint let's just say city oh okay Viti and I don't have an email account yet so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna click on enter update the profile go over to websites and click on GMX I'm gonna create a GMX account AOL is a little more buggy than GMX uh, but let's see what we can do with GMX as well I'm gonna go over to proxy settings make sure I don't have any proxies on this one um, so I'm gonna use my own IP um, however I have been using this and testing this quite some bit so let's just see what kind of success we get from this um, enable auto capture service and I'm gonna start so that's starting and signing up to GMX is solving the capture now so straight away it's picked up on that capture and it's sending it over to D uh, sorry death by capture fantastic so just gonna wait until this gets done okay capture solved and creating sign in fantastic that's successful straight away so what I'm gonna do now is go to log results go to sign up go to success I'm gonna open up the file and as you can see here it's got GMX in there it's got my username that you used obviously we've added two characters towards the beginning and two characters towards the end and it's told us the result there as well it's already it's also given us the kind of data that we've entered to actually successfully complete the sign up it's even give us given us this um, the secret question just in case you ever got locked out fantastic I'm not going to check the email sometimes it is advisable to check that email to make us to make sure it's correct I'm going to enter it in there I'm going to put at gmx.com and I'm going to click on enter that's updated my profile now so I've now got an email address in my profile I'm going to tell the system to auto generate all the work details I forgot to I forgot to know if you don't enter anything in here the system will automatically pick up that you haven't entered anything in there and it will try and automate it will try and force a successful sign up for us um, okay websites I'm gonna uncheck GMX I'm gonna select all of these here however I'm gonna deselect Yahoo Pulse Yahoo bookmarks and Flickr as well now the reason I'm gonna do these uh, the reason I'm deselecting them is because they require a Yahoo account if you do have a if you do have a Yahoo account you can enter it in here and enable them three websites and it should get them and it should get them done for you right I'm gonna go and be brave with 15 threads I'm gonna enable auto capture solving I'm gonna make sure my profile has been selected here and I'm gonna click on start as you can see this is doing 15 sign up simultaneously at once now it is going to come back with errors it is going to come back with many successful ones as well one thing we need to look at as well guys is that the software will come back to the ones that have errors and it will try and sign up to them again it will try three times after it's done that it will okay we can actually continue this down here because this is actually getting done after it's done that what the software will actually do um, is if it's failed altogether because sometimes the capture services can get them wrong sometimes many other things can get them wrong as well then what will happen is the software will actually have a try manual button up here so it will it will allow you to actually try manually itself as well so as we can see coming up and down here yes we do have a number of errors some of them like our doings fail to create account um, delicious error in solving capture it's going to come back and try again 
Okay, but as you can see, the majority of them are fantastic um, and they've got some really good successes in here as well. So again, guys, you can expect between a 70 to 80% success rate with this, um, really depending on, the, on um, the response we get back from the website as well. So as you can see, we're on the last few down here. And then I'll take you back up towards the top so we can see what's happening. So share of you looks like it's quite an error in the website. Um, okay, error in solving capture there. As you can see, these are going back up there as well. Uh, look, solving capture, solving capture, solving capture. Um, some of them are just going to be failed all the time because there might not be a capture solving error. It might be that the capture is not actually showing and we're not able to send it over. But as you can see, it did manage to get Reddit and Plurb there on the extra one there. Let's see what happens with Photo Bucket. It is capture solving creating some. Okay, failed with error there. Okay, so we are going to get a number of errors in there, guys. Um, but as you can see, as soon as that goes over, as soon as the start button comes and it's clickable again, that means it has been completed. And we should get a try manually button appear up there as well. Okay, uh, it's doing find better links now. Capture solved and creating sign up. As you can see, it's trying to go back over them again. Uh, the system does try its best to actually get a, the best success rate that we can. So, I mean, looking up and down here, guys, as you can see, you can clearly see there is about a good 80% success rate there, if not a 75. Okay, so there you go. It's gone over to start. That means it's totally done. Um, what we can do now is click on this try manual button here as well, and that will actually go and try manually for us. I'm not going to try manually um, because I just you know I, I think this is enough for me at the moment um, it's, it's just a quick demonstration to show you exactly what happens um, but yeah this is exactly what you can expect guys nice easy clean uh, a clean user interface gives you a number of uh, uh, so much control as well allows you to link them straight to your hubs as well uh, which is fantastic so if you're doing about one a day you shouldn't really worry about proxies so no no extra um, extra investments after the purchase um, other than obviously your time um, now you just see the time there guys uh, I mean you know it must have been about four to five minutes that I done them and we got a real good success oh yes we can go over here guys and this is a successful file here so as we can see here we've got 72 successful ones okay and the actual the file does actually give you the email and everything used all the usernames if you have a look at the username field down here guys it's all different and the reason it's all different and the ones without a username obviously don't have a username they actually use the email now the reason all these e usernames are so different is because we used random characters this saves us from any footprints as well and this is the only success file down here so 71 pro successful profiles uh, signups we just got then and where we can obtain um, the profile link we will so these are the profile links down here so it does get a few profile links it doesn't get them all but it does give you about a good 30 um, well maybe about 20 or 30 I'm not really sure I'd have to count them all up um, but yeah, it's, it's really cool, and you can keep hold of them and build backlinks to them as well. And obviously, uh, we also have the failed ones as well. So if we go to failed, we have a look at this. Okay, so it's saying 40 failed. Uh, that's not a proper number, because uh, obviously if we had 40 and 70, that's more than 88 or something that we went to actually sign up to. We went to sign up to 88. Uh, but as you can see there, it tells us three attempts there on stumble upon failed. Uh, two attempts there on Squiddy failed, um, Shoutem also failed, um, Snap My Life failed as well, uh, Social Bookmarks, and it actually tells you how many times it's actually failed on each, on each one as well. And then towards the very end, it actually tells you the error code as well. So anyway, guys, this is the Social Hub Builder, very simple, very straightforward. Um, you will need a little time to actually learn it. Um, obviously, I've just taken you through all the steps, um, but I do, uh, I do personally believe, um, you know, if you do put in some time, you will start liking to work with this and it will save you a lot of time knowing that you've got an application there to actually churn out these accounts as and when you want to thank you very much guys and i really hope you enjoyed working with this should you buy